star quits on um, on uh, Barbara Walters yesterday. The audio oh, is yeah? pretty good because it came out of nowhere. Breathing, I hope. What she quit? <laughs> she said she will no longer grab Naomi Watts and try to climb a building with her. And by the way, <laughs> by the way, uh, <laughs> we got to call out cunt. we got to call out Barbara Walters today too. She's on the front page of the Post after the show uh, ended. Then she just ripped uh, Star Jones a new one. Why she's a you, phony. Why don't you do it right on your show? She was yep. right there. You're a journalist. She wishes her well and all that. We got the audio, and then the papers just went nuts because then Barbara Walters said she betrayed us. She's this. She's that. Blah blah. I was trying to protect her, and 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 then you know tells everyone how she really felt. Bunch of phoniness. A bunch of phony mm. baloney. Pardon my French. Oh, and then we got the, the mouth. Uh, <laughs> all right, everyone's talking about Star Jones. It's on the front page of the New York Post. Um, Star Wars is on the cover. Star Wars. I get it. And uh, <laughs> Walters rips betrayal by Jones. The problem is she ripped into Star Jones. <clears throat> and, man, I hate Star Jones. But you know what? Yeah. At least she said it on the air. Yeah. Barbara and Walters. she's not taking this. She She left the show. She quit. There's a behind the scenes. They are trying to work out a way, or were trying to work out some way where they can make it look amicable and make it look like they're. Uh, uh, it's it's a mutual parting of the ways because, and that's the way they always do these things. You hear when somebody leaves a show, it's like, well, they're moving on to other things. They're looking to uh, broaden their, st- but whatever. It's always a bunch of bullshit. And Star got on and just said, hey, I'm being fired. That's pretty much it. I'm being fired, and uh, I'm done. I'm leaving. And now everybody's all pissed off at her for actually finally doing something that I can respect her for, which is not Tell going along with the same bullshit line. No one ever gets fired in uh, entertainment, by the way. Have you ever heard? Who gets fired? It's always people leaving. We get fired, but <laughs> yeah. it's barely well, we joke entertainment. About, <laughs> yeah, twice. We joke all the time about XM, the emails that come out that Blah Blah has decided to explore yeah. uh, new uh, options new mm-hmm. options or what have you. It's uh, you know, He got fired. People and- get fired. They get replaced. That's how it works, but they always try to make it sound like it was some kind of a mutual thing. And Star looks like a real cunt. I, yeah. I, I think I think she's just a, a fucking an entitled cunt. On totally wheels. entitled. Oh, even before she dropped the ton, she thought she was she's like so this awful, pretty, wonderful diva. Yeah, big like I'm a diva. Oh, well, the deal is they're bringing in Rosie O'Donnell. She must look like a bat with her clothes. And Rosie, off. by the way, like I got a problem with her with this too. Well, Rosie O'Donnell's coming in, and uh, they they just feel like the chemistry would just. What what is the real situation then? They just feel the chemistry between uh, Star Rosie's Jones. made some friend uh, friends. Oh yeah, some jokes about uh, in the press. Okay, you're about right. Star losing weight. Um, with the stomach stapling and then talking about how she did it through diet and, you know, all this. And, of course, Rosie can't drop weight, uh, so she has resentment towards that, so she's got to fucking speak up. And I think she also handed that Star Jones' husband is gay. Yeah, there was that little... <laughs> the nerve of the fucking Rosie, man. Uh, she blasted Jones for not admitting that she lost 100, how she lost 150 pounds so quickly. Gee, I don't know, Rosie, when you were on a show, what didn't you admit? How the fuck ah, can ah. she put her... And I, I'm starting to like Rosie because she does shit on everybody. How could you put yourself in that position? A diet of hair trout. <laughs> would be, oh, that's disgusting. But the fucking way you kept that under under wraps. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Didn't say, <laughs> didn't say a word about that. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. Well, here's the deal. No. Um you gotta you gotta listen to this audio because now Barb Walters is saying that uh, Star Jones you know blindsided everybody to announce that she's leaving the View even though everyone behind the scenes already knew it they already knew they had it in the media scheduled Rosie O'Donnell's uh, starting up in whatever September and they did not renew Star Jones's contract so Star Jones I, I'm sure it was just kind of it was kind of just uh, sitting there inside her and it was. You know, it was bubbling, and she finally said, "You know what? I'm telling everyone that I'm leaving the show, and yeah. it's it's not because I'm um, I want to leave the show. Yeah, I'm being fired. Good. So here's yeah. the audio from yesterday. It surprised everybody because it wasn't supposed to go down like this. Do you mind? Excuse me, one minute, you guys. I apologize for interrupting you. Something's been on my heart for a little bit, and um, cholesterol. <laughs> after much prayer and counsel. Uh, I feel like this is the right time to tell you that uh, the show's moving in another direction for its 10th season. Rosie O'Donnell. And I will not be returning as co-host next year. Um, 
<laughs> no blacks allowed. I'm going to hold your hands right now because, as you might imagine, this it's is might be the sure. hard thing to do, okay? Yeah. It's been the most amazing nine years of my entire professional and personal life. Barbara, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity of a lifetime to sit at this table and sit with you guys. Um, my co hosts, Joy and Elizabeth, and my Meredith and Absentia. Uh, we have a lifetime of memories together, a lot of fun. and uh, I'm going to take all of that and the respect that I have for all of you with me. Goddamn rich cunt! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had to chime in, didn't he? <laughs> Goddamn Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> His timing is always good. <laughs> Shane in Florida. Shane. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. You guys walked all over Anthony's line, man. Ooh, which one? He said, he said, Star Jones must look like a bat or all of her clothes off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. There you go. Thank there, you, sir. Is there That's any more audio? I hope Jeff doesn't jump in again. That was oh, really that rude. That would be awful <laughs> if <laughs> Jeff Goldblum decided to voice his opinion. A lot. Here's, <laughs> here's more Star Jones. Um, to the crew, uh -oh, Rob and Phyllis especially, and the staff here at The View, you all are the most amazing, best in television, and I've been honored to be your colleague. And these viewers, you have welcomed me into your hearts and to your homes for nine years. And it has been a privilege that I cannot measure with words. Wait for it. I love you desperately. Wait for it. I thank you for the opportunity. Wait for it. I'm not sure what the future holds. Wait. No. But Wait I'm absolutely it. sure who holds the future. And I thank you very much. God damn rich cunt. God damn rich cunt. <laughs> oh, I'm glad he doesn't actually interrupt her in mid-speech. <laughs> yeah. That would be really rude. Yeah, that would be rude. <laughs> Well, so then uh, Barbara Walters had a couple of quick oh, things Oh, Barbara Walters. <laughs> yes. She's probably really well paid. <laughs> hot topic? No, that's a hot topic. No, not a hot topic. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the hottest talk? 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 Now you want to talk about me. Let's go to hot topics, you guys. Seriously, no, really. I really want to say, this is our show. And the thing that I've loved doing for nine years is coming here and doing this show. I, 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 have, I can't just say, oh, thanks a lot, and let's move on and talk about it. <laughs> That's not exactly, that's not exactly, you know, and, and, but, you know, we, we've heard rumors, we've heard, uh, this was a surprise, this was, that this would come about this way, we did not expect it, but this I have to say, from the day you came on this program, and the idea of you, of being the success that it has been, without you, without the kind of work you've done, without your intelligence, and your humor, we have seen you evolve. You are a great lady. <laughs> oh, I am fucking, I am weeping. I'm laughing so hard. Oh, that Jeff. Oh, oh, oh boy. It continues. He has a one-track mind. It certainly does. And whatever you decide to do, God you know, damn you know, I've thought about it and talked about it, and that you feel it's the best. To you, I have no doubt that you're just going to be so. Everybody would be very lucky to have you, and it is my my joy that we have had you for nine years. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, my my sadness that uh, it's uh, turned out this way, but it is best. Whatever is best for you, you you've been you such much. a part of this show. Thank you. And, well, you know, it, it's, I can't imagine how the view would have succeeded uh, without you. So. Thank you. So, go ahead, go and leave. leave I'm talking to you. So, that's what happened on the show yesterday. Shut up! Goddamn rich cunt! <laughs> and then Bar uh, Barbara oh, Walters wow. couldn't wait to get on the phone <laughs> after the after the show to really speak her mind. So she was blindsided. In Good. Instead of yeah, she probably needed time to like get with her people and just figure yep. out what to do instead of like just uh, going with the raw emotion she was feeling. Yeah, I'm being honest. And now it's on the front page of the uh, the uh, New York no. Post. Uh, a furious Barbara Walters said yesterday she was blindsided furious. and betrayed by Star Jones when the formerly corpulent commentator quit the View in the middle of a live telecast and later said she'd been fired. 
I love Star and I was trying to do everything I possibly could up until this morning when I was betrayed to protect her. Betrayed. So why don't you... That's uh, Walter's... Why are you betraying yeah. her? Why are you protecting her? Why, why aren't you being honest? Yeah, betrayed. Why you, it's How your, about it's you your fired her? Why don't you have an honest moment and go, wow, this is not cool. You know, it, exactly. this is what I was trying to do and all right, you want to get into it, let's get into it. Star said she was afraid that we were going to make ashtrays out of her hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my... Where's that bell? My God. Uh, Jones didn't mention getting axed when she said goodbye on air, but soon afterwards told People Magazine her contract had not been renewed for a 10th season on the Daily Talk Show. I feel like I was fired, she told the magazine, which posted her interview on the Internet while she was still appearing live on The View. Goddamn rich cunt! <laughs> Walters goes on to say, I would have loved for Star to have left and not said I was fired and not make it look like the program was somehow being cruel to her. It was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. <laughs> The funny part of that is, as you're reading, I just see Anthony's head tilt to the right and look at the machine. <laughs> I know it's coming. <laughs> it couldn't mean anything else. Of course. <laughs> uh, Walter said ABC Brass decided last fall not to renew Jones's contract. We tried to talk them out of it, and we tried to give Star time to redeem herself in the eyes of the audience, he said. <laughs> uh... <laughs> a, a show source said Jones made her surprise announcement so her fans would turn against the show. She took back some control, and it doesn't look good for the show, the source said. She does have fans, and they won't like that she was forced out for Rosie O'Donnell, the source said. Goddamn rich cunt! <laughs> and yes, we got Star Jones leaves The View. The saga continues. We started uh, down this road yesterday, and uh, now it's getting ugly. Uh, Barbara Walters was on The View yesterday saying how um, angry she was, how things went down with Star <laughs> Jones uh, pretty much quitting on air. Oh, and that yeah. surprised a lot of people. Goddamn rich cunt! <laughs> that surprised a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, Barbara Walters makes a statement at the start of The View yesterday. Goddamn rich cunt! <laughs> and as she was doing that, Star Jones was on Ryan Seacrest. Uh, she was on his terrific radio show out there in L.A. Right, where everyone spills the beans. Yeah, that's the go-to show out in L.A., yep. I guess. Figures. Why aren't we the go-to show in New York? Are people that scared of us? Uh, yeah. We should be the go-to show. Like Star Jones would call this show... Remember when you called me uh, California Raisin Head? Yeah. Uh, that's why I picked you guys, because I have a sense of humor about my big, fat head and my big, like, watery, droopy, fucking dachshund eyes. Remember King Kong reference number 378? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was real funny. Remember when you did that whole skit that went on for about a half hour about... Me being in the water instead of the Jaws shark and uh, eating people. Remember that? That's why I come to the Opie and Anthony show. All right, you make a good point. Yeah. Star Jones in the water. Our Star Jones. Farewell and adieu <laughs> to you, fair Spanish lady. Saw Star Jones eat a rocking chair once. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink to your stomach stapling. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this uh, this was uh, Barbara Walters yesterday. Star Jones, little tenderizing. Down you go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll catch her for five. I'll fire her for ten. <laughs> she can't stay down with three barrels in her. Not three. Not Star Jones. So... Female comic Rosie O'Donnell, I knew. Sorta of in the water, so I went over to say hello. I tapped her on the shoulder. Well, she upended. I looked at her. Another woman was eating her <laughs> vagina. She's a fucking lesbian, you know. <laughs> you got you, you got city hand star from climbing buildings <laughs> all your life. <laughs> Peel me a banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, see, perhaps this is why she isn't on the uh, program. <laughs> That's why we're spilling not the, the go-to show. Spilling our guts. Yeah. With the Kittner boy right in the middle of the whole pile. <laughs> All right, here we go. Barbara Walters makes a statement at the start of The View. 
And then there were three. And then there were three. <laughs> this is truthfully a very difficult day for us, and, and it's a sad day for us. If you were watching the program yesterday, you would have heard Star announce that she's leaving the view and will not be on the program next fall. We didn't expect her to make the statement yesterday. She gave us no warning, and we were taken by surprise. Oh, sure you are. But the truth is that Star has known for months that ABC did not want to renew her contract and that she would not be asked back in the fall. Hmm. Skipper, that, that's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Skipper the trucker. Yes, Skipper. <laughs> yeah, man, get away from this fat Star Jones shit. That you're, it's not even funny, man. Play something really funny when watch his face fell and broke his knee playing football. Hold my hand, man. Hold my hand. We're only covering this just because it's kind of a topical big... It is a big story. We don't like the view, but it is a big story. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to make a request, man. Great show. Thanks, right, buddy. Thank you, sir. Let's go to John in Smithtown, Long Island. Uh, John, what's up? Yeah, let's talk to Anthony's famous line when Star Jones said that you was a diva, and Anthony said, No, I'm a diesel. Oh, I'm a diva. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a diesel. You can't do fat jokes with her anymore, though, because, you know, she's not really fat anymore. She has the skin, though. They just, they fucking, like, hair clipped it behind her back because she needs it again. <laughs> I don't remember ever calling her that, Kevin, from Arizona. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you call her? <laughs> Kevin, did did yeah. I say that? Yeah, she was interviewing people on the on the red carpet. Yeah. And uh, it was something like a, I heard a million, I sensed a million fat cells <laughs> screaming out at once. I forget how it went. You can guard grab me, but it was hysterical. But Aunt called her the Death Star. I called her the Death Star. <laughs> Oh, I immediately something thought something else. Something <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. I was saying. All right, let's get back to the Barbara Walters that. audio from yesterday. The network made this decision based on a variety of reasons, which I won't go into now. Why not? But we were never going to say this. We wanted to protect Star, and so we told her that she could say. <laughs> never wanted to say it, but. <laughs> Bar. And so we told her that she could say whatever she wanted about why she was leaving and that we would back her up. We'd lie. We worked closely with her representatives and we gave her time to look for another job and we hoped then that she would announce it here in the program and leave with dignity. Oh. But Starr made another choice. And since her announcement yesterday, she has made further announcements that have surprised us. So it is becoming uncomfortable for us to pretend that Everything is the same at this table. You know what? I hate Star Jones, but, what, you know, of course she, she wanted to do it her way and announce it and surprise the hell out of everybody on the show. They're giving you the boot, and you know it's coming, right. and you're sitting with lawyers and other people trying to craft this bullshit story of how you're leaving uh, w uh, because you both have, yeah, other opportunities. other opportunities, and it's a, a mutual thing, and, and I just love Barbara and, and uh, all the, the new uh, w dyke that's coming on, <laughs> and I wish them all the best. Like, they, they wanted her to do that. Right, and it's got to be a tough work environment. You're sitting there making believe everything is okay yeah. behind the scenes when you know that they don't want you anymore and that you're just uh, playing out the rest of your contract. Yes. Why not just be honest? Why the fuck just just tell the truth? Right. Star Jones decided to tell the truth, and now they have a problem with that. Yeah. They leave wanted her to leave with, with dignity. Dignity. She was getting fucked over by ABC, and she wanted the world to know it. I think and I don't uh, have a problem with that. Acting here. She is a little nerve wracked, though. I think Stark. She doesn't have a job, and uh, first thing she did, of course, food. This was a yeah. quote uh, minutes after she left the set. Let me have a Diablo sandwich, a Dr. Pepper, and make it fast. I'm in a goddamn hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Just right back to the food. A Diablo sandwich. <laughs> I want one of those. What an awful... I don't know what it is, but I want to eat what one. An, especially with a Dr. Pepper to wash it down. <laughs> what an yeah, awful Pepper. sandwich. Never did a sit-up in his life. I'm in a goddamn hurry. A Diablo sandwich and a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> What a shitty on-the-go snack that is. <laughs> shitty on-the-go <laughs> snack. You know what Gleason's ass would look like after a Diablo sandwich? I just guarantee it, Pepper. it has chili and onions in it. Cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it's got to be hot because it's a Diablo sandwich. <laughs> the sandwich of the devil, I believe. Is it? You still have that clip right there? 
Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, I, no. I have no clue. Sometimes I want to hear them twice, because I, I hear them, and I remember how much I love them. I have no clue what uh, clip you're talking about. Goddamn rich cunt. <laughs> I'm at Gleason's. Oh. Yeah, the Diablo sandwich clip. He likes to hear it again. I do. Yeah. Let me have a Diablo sandwich of Dr. Pepper. Make it fast. I'm in a goddamn hurry. A Diablo sandwich of Dr. Pepper. What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. Oh, that's an attention getter. Right. Do you have my hat blew off? No, we need more. We need more of his. Uh, Dude, clips. that son of a bitch no had a lot of friends, didn't he? I could have been kicking at Mr. Bandit's ass around the moon by now. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking down mailboxes, <laughs> driving through people's backyards. Got a broad in the car. That's a man act. Daddy, my hat blew off. I hope your goddamn head was in it. <laughs> that could be the best line ever in a movie. <laughs> Let's get more of those clips. I hope your goddamn head. And that's nothing but pure and simple old-fashioned communism. Happens every time one of those dancers start poontanging around with those show folk fags. Fags. Someone knows what a Diablo sandwich is. Oh, Let's right. uh, say hi to Dave in Tennessee. Dave, you some bitches couldn't close an umbrella. <laughs> Dave, I was just going to tell you, a Diablo sandwich is nothing but a cheeseburger with chili and uh, onions and tomatoes and lettuce. It's basically like a taco with chili. That's all it is, dude. Funny. All right. Well, that that yeah. that would that could burn your ass out. Yeah, that would explode your ass out a little bit. Doctor Pepper. Uh, Doctor Pepper. In a hurry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back to Barbara Walters. <laughs> this audio is ridiculous. I know we're in silly mode, but it's, so, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So it is becoming uncomfortable for us to pretend that everything is the same at this table. And therefore, regrettably, Star will no longer be on this program, except for some shows that have been pre-recorded. The View helped make Star a star, and Star helped make The View the success that it is, and we will never forget that. We wish her well in this new chapter of her life as, as we begin a new chapter on The View. And when we come back, we will do what we do best, our worst hot topics. Yes, we will. We'll be back. You don't want hiring niggas, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that show is done. You think so? Yeah, I think it's done. There was a fight afterwards. They lost two. They lost two out of the five, right? And we'll Barb Walters is just way too old to be on TV at this point. We'll, uh, we'll fight afterwards upstage, uh, backstage, and uh, somebody was injured. What well, happened? Oh, that uppity nigger went and hit me on the head with a shovel. Barb Walters' voice changed there, Anthony. Um, <laughs> um, it could have been a stage crewman. I don't know what it was. Oh, she right. just left angered. Well, Star Jones was on Ryan Seacrest's uh, radio show, his terrific radio show. She handled it uh, a little differently. Mm -hmm. We had always planned to make the announcement this week. We had planned to make it on Thursday. But I woke up Tuesday morning after so much media, so much speculation, and said time for me to say goodbye right now. Did you surprise the girls by doing that on the air? Well, it was always planned for me to do it um, on the air. It was always planned for me but, to do it but on the air. But did you do it sooner than they had expected? Yeah, absolutely. And they didn't know, they didn't know it was coming? Um, well, um, from what I understand, Barbara and Bill never told Joy and Elizabeth, period. Oh, oh they didn't know anything? No, not at all. Oh. Now go home and get your fucking shine box. <laughs> Star, do you feel like you were fired? Well, you know, I'm going to let the audience come to their own conclusion. You answer the question for me. Um, I was told that my contract was not being renewed for the 10th season. And the 10th season is coming up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else, what other conclusion you could come to. So you would I say really yes, don't. you think you that they fired go. you. Okay, I don't know what else I would... How else would you... How well, else would you describe I'm, I'm, that? I'm, I'm looking for... I'm just trying to find a justification. Do you say that they came to you and said, we're not picking up your option because the ratings are down? Is that all they said to you in terms of justifying your yes, release? Yes, they, oh. they're it. not picking up uh, my option uh, because... No, they're not renewing my contract uh -huh. because... My ratings, my stars ratings. Well, how do they know down. what your ratings are if it's an ensemble? Um, Ryan, you've got to deal in the business world. 
That that's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Steve had a comment. Well, the show is the show's in trouble. Ratings are down, so they decided, uh, you know, Rosie might uh, be able to pop the pop these ratings for everybody. Shake it up a little bit. Shake it up a little bit, and so they, they do. They knew Rosie and Star didn't get along, which they should have went with. That would have made for some great TV. Yeah. But they don't have the balls to do that. And as Star walked out of the uh, studio for the last time, we takes for nothing. <laughs> We have some really cool sound clips, like some inside stuff. Yeah, a lot of yeah. inside stuff. On Rosie O'Donnell, this is what Star Jones has to say. But then in the same week, I was told that um, they were adding another co-host, and it was Rosie O'Donnell. Mm -hmm. And that was in the same week that she had been so nasty and insulting and vicious towards me. Publicly, she scolded you for not being frank about no, your weight scolded, loss. Scolded is not the right word. Publicly, she insulted me. Mm. She tried to damage me professionally and personally. I don't think it's fair for you to use soft words, babe. Okay, so it was very damaging to you in both ways, Ooh, professionally. It was, absolutely. Uh -huh. Very damaging. Uh, Star Jones gets all this attention. Terrific. Goddamn rich cunt! But she's, uh, <laughs> she's pretty much done. It's over, Johnny. Yeah. And how about the fact... That you've made a career out of publicly bashing people, you fat cunt. It's about time somebody gives it back to you. All you do is, you know, my lucky Louie is juvenile. Yeah? Well, you're a fat cunt. What do you think of them apples? Unemployed. Exactly. You fired gorilla. Why are you hitting her when she's down? I'd like yeah. to fucking jump on her face while she's down. <laughs> like luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, if you use words like betrayal, you have to put yourself in my position. If anyone should feel betrayed, then it should probably be me, because in the same week that I was told that I was not being renewed, that's the same week that Rosie O'Donnell vilified me in the media. Mm -hmm. And the exact same week that Barbara, my mentor and friend and colleague of nine years, called her and invited her to be a co-host on The View. Right. You felt and like she the, didn't have your back. Right. Well, she didn't have my back. Yeah. Mm. Ugh, it was silver. <laughs> wow. 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 All right. So there you go. That was a who cares thing. She will get uh, one of those um, very low visibility TV guide channel red carpet shows, perhaps. For a little while. And didn't she, she have one of those shows for a little while? Yeah. On like E, and she was awful. Yeah, they didn't like her doing that. She'll get one of those. She'll get one more shot, and she'll be around for maybe a season of TV, which is what, 13 weeks? Something one like more that. shot at what, though? She's an entitled I don't even think she's going to get anything big. I think she's going to be on like VH1. I love the 90s, volume 18. She'll be a correspondent for somebody. That's about it. She was Thank taking payola. Yeah. That's the problem. She wanted to take all this free oh, diamond yeah, stuff. Alleg 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 she allegedly what? Allegedly, yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> well, no, she went home with the bullets. People saw it. Fuck her. <laughs> she didn't sue me. Fuck you, fatso. Juvenile show, huh? Yeah. Fired. 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 All and right. Barbara Walter should be shot, too. And we were going to back her up. Why won't you just tell the truth? She's lying through her teeth. Who? Uh, Barbara Walters. She is a fucking With allegedly. that whole thing where she's talking about how it was supposed to be handled. You know, I don't like Star Jones at all. And I wish her motives for it were uh, a little more, um, I don't know, less self-centered, I guess. Yeah, more pure and honest. Just the fact that, you know, she went on and said, screw you. No, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm listening. Uh, let's go to Russell in California. Russell. Hey, good morning, boys. Hey, Russell. Hello, Jimmy. Hey. Yeah, you guys are starting to run out of gas, man. You need to go home. Dude, I'm, I'm really tired. Yeah, well, Normally, I nap during the day, like after XM, and uh, I've had an acting workshop. I had my class Tuesday, then I had a workshop yesterday and a workshop today, and I'm just, I'm not getting the sleep, so I'm in, I'm in wiped out, dude. And we and we went out to dinner with the Flying Hollander Brothers, so... Uh, How was that? We'll be uh, completely honest. We're really tired right now. My voice yeah, is shot, too. I'm, Russell, I'm sitting here at a job site waiting to get rid of this steel here. I've been listening to you all morning. Well, there's been some laughs. Can you hear my voice is going? There's been some laughs. All right, Russell. 
Yeah. You guys have a you have a safe weekend. We'll talk to or hear you next week. You oh. do the same, Russikins. You do the same. We got one more show. We're doing the show tomorrow, so all right, Russell. You bet hey. your sweet bottom we are open.